All right, welcome everybody to today's session. My name is Mark Burstein. Today, we're going to be talking about Property Minder's new mobile application that's coming out <clears throat> to the market. Actually, it's already been out for a few a uh, few weeks, and uh, I'd like to get everybody excited and, and, and embracing this technology. My name is Mark Burstein. That is my photograph from 10 years ago when I first got into the real estate business. I still haven't changed it. That makes me an official realtor. I actually do have clients I'm going to go see after this presentation. Uh, but I am taking the time here today to teach you guys a little bit about our new mobile app and what we can do as realtors to get this out to the public and how we can really benefit from this system to help close transactions, to help meet new clients, so forth and so on. Now, today we're going to talk about a little bit about mobile applications. We're going to talk about how to distribute this application to your client database. We're going to talk a little bit about setup and activation codes and our new invitation system. And then we're going to go uh, over a couple of new developments uh, with regards to mobile applications that we have coming out in the near future. One of them I know you guys will be really excited about. I'm really excited about it. I'll get you to give you a little taste, but we'll talk about it in more detail at the end of the presentation. So mobile applications, why do we go or why are we even spending our time worrying about mobile applications? Well, that's where our consumers are going. You know, 12 years ago when I first started in the real estate uh, business here at Property Minder, the Internet was the new craze. Websites were the new craze. And agents were like, well, you know, why do we all need a website? Well, you all need a website because that's where consumers are going looking for real estate information. You know, 12 years later, hopefully we've all caught on. Most of uh, active agents have some kind of web presence. But the consumer has made a shift. Consumers are shifting away from or they're changing the way they're interacting with information. And technology has taken a giant leap forward with mobile technology, iPhones, the new Samsung phones, iPads, and tablets are really putting a plethora of information. We're taking that information out of our office and we're putting it into our pockets into our smartphones we're out and about we're at, we're at work and we're supposed to be working on our computer as consumers but we want to get real estate information so we pull out our handy iPhones and we can start searching for properties that we want to buy or searching for real estate information in their local neighborhood to gauge the value of their home so with the shift in the consumer thinking it's important for companies like us, Property Minder, to also shift and help you, agents, interact with consumers the way they want to be interacted with. And that's what we've developed, Property Minder mobile applications. We do definitely see this as the wave of the future as more and more people start embracing the smartphones. The cost of those phones start coming down. More people are going to be interacting with those phones. And even from a cost basis, even though there are, you know, they can be a little on the expensive side as far as phones go, a smartphone is still far less expensive or a tablet is still much less expensive than having a high-end desktop computer or a high-end laptop. So the accessibility to the, to the technology is far greater. So what we've gone ahead and done is we've created called Agent Branded Real Estate Mobile Applications. What does that mean? That means when someone is interacting, a consumer, a home buyer or seller, they're interacting with your mobile device, or I'm sorry, they're interacting with the MLS, they're looking for uh, information on their mobile device, and they're using your mobile app, well, it app is branded to you as the agent. So just like on your MLS uh, IDX on your website, all the property listing details feature you as the main point of contact for all information that's being shown on your app. We do leverage the technology in the phones with the GPS, so it allows for very fast access to data. Like how many times have you been driving around with a client and you out there out in the field and you come across a house that maybe uh, you had missed on the MLS and there's a there's a sign there on the lawn saying for sale. And, you know the client's interested in the neighborhood. That's why we're there in the first place. The first question they ask is, "Ah, what's going on with this house?" And you go to the sign box and you look, there's, a, there's, there's one of those flyer boxes there. And unfortunately, all the kids from the neighborhood came through and they made paper airplanes of all the flyers. There's no flyers in there to get any information. So what do you do to get information? You're going to wait to go all the way back to your office? No. You're going to pull out your smartphone. You're going to turn on the Property Minder app. 
and the GPS is going to show you the house that you're standing right in front of, the property information for that house instantly. So you don't have to fumble around. You don't have to go logging into a system, pulling out your laptop, praying for an Internet connection. None of that. All the information will be at your fingertips for the house that you're standing right in front of. You're going to get up-to-date and accurate information because our app is connected to IDX. It's connected directly to the MLS, and it's updated multiple times a day. So all the listing information, just like as accurate as it is on your website, it'll be just as accurate on your mobile application. We are supporting both Google and Apple, and we are supporting Google Maps as well as the Apple Maps if you're working the iPhone. Uh, we have click-to-call technology, so if a client is at work or they're at home and they're looking at property listings on their phone and they have a quick inquiry or they have a question they want to ask, it's very easy for them to contact you. All they do is have to quick click the little phone next to your name and your cell phone will start to ring with an inquiry. Also, clients can track homes that they're interested in by adding them to the favorites and then they can track the house. And if a house is added to favorites when it's active, as it changes status to pending and sold, and I'm going to disclaimer this, is as long as you're in an MLS that allows us to send that information out, some MLSs do, some MLSs don't. Hopefully they will eventually. But as long as they do, the client will be able to track that house as it goes through the process, it goes pending, and then when it sells, it'll give them the sold price. We have technology for people to be able to share information on Facebook and Twitter straight from the phone. And I think this is one of the greatest ways for lead generation or a great way to promote you and your business. If you encourage those A contacts, those A prospects in your database, you know those people that love you, that say good things about you and give you referrals all the time? Well, they can go ahead, if they see a house or any one of your clients, of course, if they see a house that they like or something pretty cool uh, with regards to a picture or whatnot, they want to share it. They can easily share any listing information to their network via Facebook and Twitter. And guess what happens? Because they're coming and accessing the information from your device, I mean, from your mobile app, guess who's branded on the share? When people click on that link and they go back to look at the property or the information, guess whose website they go to? That's right, they go to yours. So it's a great way to promote your business by encouraging your top clients, the ones that are always spreading good things about you in the first place, to go ahead and share things on Facebook and Twitter to promote your, help you promote your business. Of course, client tracking in the toolkit. So whenever a consumer is using your mobile application, you're going to get to see exactly what's going on. What property listings are they looking at? What searches are they running? How often they looked at every property? What time they're looking at properties? All of the client tracking that you got on your website for web visitors and they're looking at properties, you get the same tracking for folks that are using the mobile app. And yes, in your toolkit, it will tell you how they're interacting with your data. Are they looking at it from a website or are they looking at it from a mobile app? We empower you with that information. And again, it's available on all iOS, uh, Apple, and Android devices. And not to read it, to beat a dead horse, but again, this is your mobile app. It's for your clients, and it's branded to you. So let's talk about how we get this mobile app out to the public. How do we get it to our sphere of influence, and how do we get perhaps new people to engage with our systems and register and use our mobile app? Well, the first way we do it is called Mobile Detect. When someone visits your website from a mobile device, whether it be just casually they come across your site, that never happens, by the way, but just in case it does. Or let's say you send out an email notification for property listings, and they happen to get that email notification on their iPhone, and they say, oh, yeah, I want to see, and they click the button to look at property details. Well, interesting thing's going to pop up when they get to your website. It's going to automatically prompt them and give them the option to download your mobile app automatically because it can detect, the system can detect what type of device is accessing the data. So if it's a computer, they'll just go on their merry way. If they're accessing, access, <laughs> accessing from a mobile device, then the system will prompt them an option to download the mobile application. Right? There is a desktop landing page on your computer, uh, I mean on, on the website, so that if people are going to your website, there should be a little link for downloading the mobile app. All they have to do is type in a phone number and an activation code, and the system will go ahead and send them a link to download the app. What is this good for? Well, if you're at an open house or if you're engaging with people, uh, I mean, let's be honest, folks aren't going to go to your, chances are they're not going to 
go to your website and go, oh, look, mobile app, and then download it. Doubt that's going to happen. In most cases, you're going to be the one that's going to be initiating that download. So where if you're at an open house, you have the website open, you have it open to your page, all you have to do is type in the consumer's phone number, give them the activation code, click the, the, the go button, and the system will send them uh, via text message uh, a link to go ahead and download that to their phone. So that's the way to do it. People can go directly to the App Store. If they go to the App Store, they have to type in Property Minder. They type in Property Minder, they'll be prompted to download the Property Minder application. After they download the application, they're going to need an activation code. The activation code is what links the consumer to you. There's two. We're going to talk about activation codes in a little bit. Email campaigns, we have email campaigns in your toolkit to go ahead and send out invitations for people to go ahead and Download the mobile app to their device. Uh, Craigslist ads. If you're leveraging Craigslist, then you should be leveraging Craigslist because, let's face it, Craigslist is a free advertising uh, channel. And we have tools in your toolkit so you can advertise on Craigslist and create beautiful professional ads free of charge. It's all included in your property minder service. You can include a link in your Facebook, I mean, sorry, in your Craigslist ad to invite people to search the MLS on their mobile device by clicking a button and downloading your device. And also a PDF flyer. If you go to our Property Minder blog, you can download a customizable PDF flyer that you can post at your open houses or if you're out door knocking or any other kind of lead generation as a handout to go ahead and give to people, giving them instructions and some compelling reasons why they should use your mobile app and instructions on how to download that mobile app and start using it. Now, let's talk a little bit about these activation codes. The activation code is what ties in the consumer to you. Okay, so there's two types of activation codes that are available to give out to people. The first type is an activation code that you specify. If you go into your Property Minder Toolkit in the Preferences tab, there is a place where you can edit your activation code. Remember, this is a code that you can set, make it something that you could easily remember. And I'd suggest getting out there and doing this as soon as possible because everybody can only have one code. Well, one code can only be used one time. So if you want to have a snazzy vanity code while they're still open, remember we're new with this technology, get in your toolkits and set that code as soon as possible. You want to make sure it's something that you could easily remember so that when you're out in the field, you can go ahead and share your mobile device with people and share your activation code. For me, mine is my last name. It's very easy. When an open house or I'm engaging a new customer, maybe I met them for coffee for the first time, I want to get them to use my systems. I don't want it, I don't want them to go to realtor.com. I don't want them to go to Trulia. I don't want them to go to Zillow. I want them to use my systems because when they use my systems, A, the data is always accurate because it's coming from the MLS. And B, it's easy for us to communicate. They can easily schedule an appointment to, to, or let me know that they're interested in a specific property just by adding it to their favorites or making a request. We make it easy, as you know, if those of you who have used our systems in the past. We make it easy for people to interact with us on our systems. That's why as agents, we really want people, I really want, I definitely want my clients off of those public sites using my system so I can track them and follow up more efficiently. <clears throat> so we want to get them to use with the mobile, uh, with this activation code, this is something that you're going to give out. Now, once someone uses this code, they still have to log into their system. So if they're already clients of yours, they already have a password and login. If they're not clients of yours, they have to create a password and login. So now you get their phone number, you get their email address, add them to your database, and follow up with, follow up with people down the road. There is a second type of activation code. The second type of activation code, let's go back for one second. The second type of activation code, we'll touch on this real quick, is auto-generated by your system whenever the system is sending out invitations to people that are already in your database, people that are already registered in your database. Now, if someone already registered in your database uses the code that you specify on in your toolkit, that's still okay. It'll still work. They just have to log in, meaning they have to input their email address and the password that they have on your system. However, if they use the code that's auto-generated, 
through the invitations, they don't they have they get to step they, they can skip that step. They don't have to type in their email address or their uh, password. It's already embedded in that code. So we'll get to that in a little bit, the technicalities of how that works. With the email message uh, system that's in your client relationship management and in the message library, we have already pre-configured uh, uh, a message that you can send out to your clients, letting people know about your new mobile application. Uh, you can also customize this as well. When you're posting to Craigslist, in your inventory manager, you're posting all your listings to Craigslist on a regular basis, you want to go ahead and insert a link, search homes with your smartphone, download my mobile app. As you go through the posting to Craigslist tool, those of you that have done it before, you know how it works. Those of you that haven't done it before, shame on you. You should be using it because it's free and it's something that can definitely drive traffic to your website. That's a whole other class though. Anyway, you want to go in there and post to Craigslist. And remember, Craigslist is a mess. Is Craigslist the most efficient place for people to shop for homes? Mm, not by a long shot. But do people go there? Of course they do. Why? Because they don't know any better. You have to give them an excuse to get off a of Craigslist, give them a better way to search for real estate, and that's using your PropertyMinder website as well as your PropertyMinder mobile app. So the, tech, the technique is to get people off of Craigslist onto your website, and we do that with the use of links. Maybe don't give everything away in a description. You know, you want, you want, you want to give people a, re, a compelling reason to click on your links. And one of those links should be, hey, search homes with your smartphone, download my mobile app, or something even snazzier. I know you guys are marketing geniuses. You'll be able to come up with much better things than we've come up with here on this inventory manager auto post. That's why we let you play with it. In our toolkits, you can modify any of the verbiage that goes out to your clients or to Craigslist. The editable PDF flyer. Again, you want to go to the Property Binder blog to get this flyer. It is downloadable. It's downloadable, obviously, and it's customizable. So you can put your picture on there. You put your real estate brokerage logo on there. Put your uh, activation code on there. This is the activation code that you specify, and it's a great place to post in your open houses, or when you're out door knocking, or when whenever you're out meeting people to support you in spreading the word about your business and spreading your mobile app to as many people as you possibly can. Remember, the more people that have your app, the greater your chances of doing business with those people because the system starts communicating with them. It starts giving them an excuse. It puts your face and your name and your business in front of them, constantly giving you top of mind awareness. That's what you got to take advantage of. So this is a great way with the editable PDF flyer to go ahead and start capturing people that come to your open houses. Now you have people sign in. You can have people sign in. You can have people sign in to your open house and automatically send them your property minder mobile app. They don't like it, they can uninstall it when they go outside. No big deal. However, be proactive because some people will like it and it will be a great way for them to start using your services. Another way is to leverage QR codes. QR codes, quick response codes. What is that? Well, that's the funny square boxes that you see with all these dots filled in. QR codes is a quick way for someone who has a mobile phone to access a website. All they do is on their mobile phone, they open their QR reader, they scan the little bar, and boom, they get transported to a website. In this case, a website to get them to download your mobile app. So in order to get your QR code, we highly recommend working with these companies, qrstuff.com or goqr.me. It's free. Okay. All you have to do is you're going to set up the code that's going to ask you for an address, and the address you're going to give them is the address you can just direct them directly to the front page of your website, because when they access your website from a mobile device, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to ask them to download your mobile app. All right, so that's QR codes. We also have a new invitation system in your toolkit. What will send the mobile app out to your clients that are already registered in your toolkit via email. And you can send this report out to multiple people or you can send it out to people one person at a time. Now, when you're inviting users with this invitation system, there is a special activation code that the system automatically generates. You don't want to mess with that. Leave that code alone. Reason being is that code automatically encodes that person's email and password. So when they register with that code, they don't have to 
input that information on their phone, it's automatically in, uh, installed there for them. And from your toolkit, when you're looking at your CRM, you go through your contact list, there is a, a place there where you can see whether someone has received a message about the mobile app, whether they have installed the mobile app, or whether they have not installed the mobile app and it's still pending installation. So you get that information and empowers you to then go ahead and engage with those clients down the road in a meaningful conversation. So when you're looking in your property manager toolkit, you go into the client relationship management section. That's the first big button in the middle of the page. <clears throat> when you get into the CRM, you see your consumers, you see their names and their contact info, and then actions. At the actions at the end of the list, there's a button there called Send App Invite. If you want to send it out to individual people, you just click that Send App Invite and it'll send an invitation to that one person to do the mobile app. Now, you can also send it out to everyone in your toolkit in one fell swoop called Mass Email. Again, in the CRM, you click the Send a Message button at the top of the page. When you click that Send a Message button, it pulls you pulls up to a secondary page where you can then specify what contacts will get this button. So you put the subject uh, line here, that's the subject of the message, you can modify that to whatever you'd like, and then you select who you want to send it to, you want to send it to what contact groups, or if you have a contact list, you want to send it to everybody or select people, um, your sphere of influence sellers. Remember this network button, folks, in your property manager toolkit, what that's for? That's all your fellow real estate agents. So I don't know if you want to, probably don't want to send it out to your fellow real estate agents. So you want to avoid clicking the network icon. But you do want to send it out to all the people you met at open houses over the past year, all the people in your database, all the people you've sold homes to in the past. Definitely want to send this app out so they can start using it on their phones. Uh, you select the message from the message library. Uh, we have a special mobile app message. Uh, there's a couple of different messages in there that you can modify. There's a variety of different design templates that you can use, whether you're a Coldwell Banker, maybe you want a blue and white one, or if you're Century 21, the black and gold, all the different color combinations are in there uh, for you to be consistent with your brand. And if you want to add any other attachments or anything, you can to any message. So here you go. You get a beautiful message, pictures, verbiage. You can modify or leave it as it is and get the information out there. Now once the system has sent that information out, you get to see, you know exactly what's going on, who's installing it, who's not installing it. So when you go into your toolkit in the CRM next to the person's information, initially it used to say send app invite. If you've already sent that app invite, it'll say pending. Once that person's installed the app, that pending will, tra uh, will, will change to installed. So you know which users are using the mobile app. And it's a great excuse to contact those who aren't using it and just give them a call and say, hey, did you get the email about my mobile app? Your what? Oh yeah, my mobile app allows you to view information online. Remember, every time you call someone to give them information about something important, something new that you have, a new method of providing valuable information, it's a great excuse to make contact. It's a great excuse to ask for referrals. You know, we always need more and more reasons to contact our database. And this is just another reason another tool in your toolkit for you to go out and increase your business. Now once again to go over the activation codes. The primary activation code, that's the one that you specify in your toolkit. It's for new clients or visitors, people that primarily already are not on your system. You want to distribute that in all your marketing channels. And remember, it's a two-step process. So once they input the activation code, then they have to register with their email and a password. And if someone's already using your system, well, they just have to log in with their email and password. The second activation code, the client-generated activation code, already is for people in your CRM. It's sent only via the invitation system, and it's a one-step access. So when they download the app, they're automatically queued in automatically ready to start using the wonderful tools that are in that application. Now, I know some of you out there may be broker owners, or you may have large teams, you may be very successful. I'm sure all of you are very successful, of course. But you don't want a property minder mobile app. 
You want the mobile app to be branded to you and your office. You want specific branding colors so that when the user opens up the app, instead of saying property minder on there, it says Mark Burstein on there or customer service realty or Los Gatos properties, whatever your name of your company is. We can create a white label solution for you. You'd have your own app in the App Store. Therefore, your users, when they go to the Google uh, Play Store or they go to the iPhone <coughs> App Store, instead of looking for Property Minder, they're going to look directly for you. It'll be branded to you and your brokers or you and your team, you and your business. There is no activation codes with the white label solution because the Property Minder solution, it's a great solution, but it serves the needs of all of our clients. The white label solution only serves the needs of you. And there is some customization that can be done with the white label solution. So if you're looking for that extra step, you want a, that extra level of branding, you might want to explore the white label solution. Interested parties, if you're interested in a white label solution, they're all custom, so there is no standardized pricing. All you do is send an email to mobile app at propertyminder.com, and a sales associate will get with you, assess your needs, understand exactly what it is you want to accomplish, and then we can get to work on building a custom white label solution for you. Now, one other thing that's new that I'm very excited about, coming soon, not, not out yet, but it's coming soon, it's called Agent View. Yeah, it's great to have a mobile app to send out to your clients so they can go out and search for properties on their mobile devices. But who really is the most mobile of mobile people that needs a mobile device to really help their business or a mobile app to really help their business? We do. Agents do. Agents, we don't make any money sitting in our office. We make our money when we're out in the field. We make our money when we're out meeting with clients. We make our money when we're out generating new contacts, networking. Where's our app? The good news is it's coming soon. Probably sometime this quarter we'll release the first version of Agent View. What is Agent View? Well, basically, it's the information that we as agents need about property listings in the palm of our hands. This is only available to agents it shows the confidential information in the property listing, meaning showing instructions, occupant phone numbers, the private remarks that the public is not privy to, as well as all the regular property minder app features. So that way when you're out in the field and you see that for sale sign and the client inquires about that house, you launch your agent view app and you get the showing instructions. Oh, showing instructions says it's vacant. We can go take a look. You don't have to fumble around with your phone. You don't have to call the listing agent and pray they answer and don't send you the voicemail. You don't have to go back to your office to see if the place is occupied or not. You're standing in front of the house right now. The clients are standing next to you. You pull out your app. You pull it up, and all the showing instructions are there. If it's call first and show, hey, guess what? The phone number is there for the occupant. You can quickly, one click, use your phone, call. There'll be some other features in there as well to help you interact with the listing agents. Uh, click to call to the listing agent and also click to text or click to send a quick email. Uh, if you have a specific question about a property, we're going to make it super easy for you guys to do your jobs and super competitive because you're going to be the agent that's out there. You're going to be impressing your clients with technology that you're leveraging out in the field. And this Agent View app is the first step. So you're going to get the data for pre uh, pending and sold listings. You're going to get the confidential showing instructions and really enable you to be mobile uh, and leverage your business. And, of course, soon to be your entire toolkit, probably not the first quarter of this, the, of this year, but before the end of the year, we're going to have so your entire property minder toolkit, especially the most important features that you're going to need out in the field, are going to be available for you in an optimized mobile application. Now, folks, don't forget. Our websites can be viewed on your mobile device. You can get into your toolkit if you use your browser. And you can get into your toolkit, 
and you can perform searches, and you can get that information today. It just may take a few seconds, uh, depending on how fast your service is. Whereas if you're leveraging a, a, a mobile optimized application like Agent View, you get to use the GPS features and uh, make it really easy to access information when you're out in the field, especially if you're standing in front of a property and the information you need is for that specific property. We find we, we have a way to get, get you that information as fast as possible. Okay? I'd like to thank everybody today. Uh, for joining us on this call. Hopefully you got something out of it. I didn't want to take up your whole day, so it's a quick quick hitter, maybe 30, 35 minutes. If you had any questions, hopefully you were able to interact with Glenn. Uh, if you still have questions down the future, you can, of course, always interact with me. Uh, you can email me at mark at Burstein Group or mark at propertyminder.com, and I'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions or address any needs that you may have with regards to the mobile app or just in general, uh, using the property minder tools in your real estate business. Uh, again, Glenn was uh, hopefully able to answer all your questions, and if not, you can always email Glenn. That's Glenn with two N's at the end at propertyminder.com. And all you guys that are property minder subscribers, the good news is all the stuff, the property minder mobile app, it's there for you, for you to use, not a dollar extra from what you pay as long as you're uh, subscribing to uh, Property Minder Acceler Agent platform. Once again, thank you all for joining me here today. Now get out there and get that mobile app to all your clients and close some business, will you? All right, have a great day.